are returning an exotic from D1. The Hunter Exotic Gauntlets, the sealed Ahamkara Grasps, have been brought forward into Destiny 2 at the launch of the Warmind DLC. Just for reference, the D1 version of the sealed Ahamkara Grasps offered a very decent bonus for Hunters. Using these Gauntlets would grant you a second melee charge, and dealing melee damage had a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon. This reload feature, coupled with two throwing knives, smoke bombs, or blink strikes, made for a pretty dynamic build, and saw use across all aspects of the game. So now in D2, let's see how the new version of these gauntlets stacks up against the old version. The exotic perk, still titled Nightmare Fuel, states that dealing damage with your melee ability will reload your currently equipped weapon. This is definitely an improvement from the D1 version, where melee damage was just a chance to reload your primary weapon, now melee damage will be guaranteed to reload your currently equipped weapon. We do unfortunately lose the second melee charge with the new version though, so let's take this exotic out into a patrol, and see how it performs in action. As expected, hitting an enemy with a melee attack does refill the magazine of your currently equipped weapon, from your reserves. This is honestly a really handy bonus to have on some weapons, particularly slow reloading weapons like hand cannons, or ammo chugging weapons like submachine guns. The exotic perk is also triggered by hitting enemies with a throwing knife, but it's not triggered by smoke bombs, unfortunately. Put simply, the grasps are an exotic that rewards an aggressive, front lines playstyle, where you'll be getting into the action, playing within the effective range of a submachine gun or hand cannon. When your magazine is getting low, simply strike an enemy with your melee attack, and get back to work. So the grasps are a pretty straightforward exotic, that can have a place in both PvE and the Crucible. Thinking about subclass builds, the grasps are entirely neutral, but since smoke grenades don't trigger the exotic perk on the grasps, I tend to stay away from Night Stalker. This is just my preference though. If you really like to play Night Stalker, and don't care that smoke grenades aren't going to trigger the free reload, then go ahead and use Night Stalker. Either tree will do just fine. For me, I think the ideal build comes down to two different skill trees. Since this exotic requires you to melee enemies frequently, I like to go with Way of the Warrior in Arc Strider. Since charged melee attacks will also heal you, and are easier to recharge, thanks to Combat Flow and Gambler's Dodge. The other build I would recommend for the grass would be Way of the Sharpshooter in Gunslinger, since you will get a throwing knife that will cool itself down with a precision kill. Out of these two configurations, I typically run with the Arc Strider build, specifically with the Huckleberry submachine gun. Most submachine guns will get the job done for sure, but the Huckleberry in particular has several bonuses that really complements the grasps. The fact that the Huckleberry will partially reload itself by getting kills, and will be fully reloaded by getting melee hits, you can output a near endless stream of firepower with this build. Places to use this? Let's start with PvE. The place that immediately comes to mind would be the Escalation Protocol events on Mars. Getting swarmed by Thralls, Acolytes and Knights will give you plenty of fuel to power your Huckleberry and melee combination, which will output insane amounts of damage very quickly, which is key for Escalation Protocol since it's a timed event. Outside of this, there are many other places to use this build. Most heroic strikes and some raid encounters would also be ideal environments, providing the modifiers aren't too brutal. All in all, the Grasps and Huckleberry combo offer a high risk, high reward playstyle that can be exploited to pack a real punch against enemies and all sorts of content. I would absolutely recommend using it in PvE. In the Crucible though, I'm not so sure. I can definitely see this exotic being useful at times, not necessarily with the Huckleberry, but maybe with hand cannons, sidearms or heavy weapons. Getting into a melee battle with someone will usually end pretty quickly, but there will be some occasions where you can get a cheeky melee hit on someone, which will top off your burst sidearm for example, and give you the edge in an encounter. It will ultimately come down to preference, whether or not you choose to use these gauntlets in the Crucible. I personally wouldn't, but if you're big on meleeing enemies, and find yourself reloading at inconvenient times a lot, maybe give the grasps a go in PvP. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you on the next vid.